When used properly, your Vermeer brush chipper will give you many hours of productive service. It is equipped with useful safety features to help protect you from serious injury. But, safe work practices are also a necessary part of accident prevention. If not used properly, a brush chipper is capable of grabbing you and pulling you into the machine and into the cutting knives. Death or serious injury will be the result. You must exercise caution and use good judgment. Your safety depends on it. This video will present selected operating procedures for Vermeer brush chippers, but this video is not a substitute for thorough and complete reading and understanding of the operator's manual and its safety instructions. You may have a Vermeer model brush chipper with an infeed system or machine components that look different than the ones shown in this video. However, most operating functions of these machines are the same. Before operating the machine, always read the operator's manual, know its contents, and follow its instructions. Allow only responsible, properly trained people to operate the brush chipper. Carefully supervise any inexperienced operators. All operators must be familiar with the worksite safety rules and regulations and must be mentally and physically capable of operating the machine safely. Advise anyone who will operate it to read the operator's manual carefully and watch this video. As you prepare the brush chipper for transporting to your cutting site, there are a number of important safety precautions to keep in mind. For your specific model, refer to the operator's manual for selecting the correct towing vehicle and hitching up your brush chipper. If you will be working along the side of a road, use the necessary traffic diversion methods to redirect motor vehicles and pedestrian traffic. Follow your local highway codes and regulations. Feed all material into the brush chipper from the curbside of the unit. This will allow you to stay away from traffic. Never set up a chipper directly beneath the tree that your crew is pruning or removing. Provide enough room around the chipper for the operator to maneuver while feeding brush. Clear away any brush or obstacles that might interfere or cause the operator to trip or stumble while feeding brush. Examine your brush pile periodically while you chip to make sure none of your material contains stones, wire, nails, or other metal objects which may damage cutting knives or become dangerous projectiles. The discharge chute is equipped with a stop to prevent discharging material over the feed table area. Material leaving the chute can cause injury or blindness. Never discharge the chips where there might be bystanders or co-workers. Rotate the discharge chute to the direction you want to deposit the chip material and lock the chute in position. Fold down your feed table. Its design is essential for safety when feeding the chipper. The machine must never be operated with the feed table removed or modified. The brush chipper feed table is equipped with a lower feed stop bar system that provides a means for the operator to quickly stop the feed rollers if snagged by a branch and pulled toward the machine. Stopping the feed rollers is accomplished by bumping the lower feed stop bar. The location of the bar makes it possible for the operator's leg to strike the bar and shut off the feed either intentionally or automatically in an emergency situation. If the operator's leg does not strike the bar, the feed will not stop. It is therefore very important to follow all safety instructions for feeding material into the chipper. These instructions are essential for your safety by helping you avoid an emergency situation in the first place. Carefully review the safety sign on your machine and review similar instructions in your operator's manual. We will demonstrate these safety procedures for feeding brush later in this video. To prepare for brush feeding, all operators must use proper personal protective equipment. These include a hard hat, hearing protection, either earplugs or earmuff type protectors, 
eye protection. This may consist of wraparound safety glasses, safety goggles, or safety glasses with a full face shield. And safety shoes. Some conditions may also require reflective clothing. If you wear gloves, gloves with wide flared cuffs must not be worn. They are more likely to be snagged by a branch and possibly pull you towards the infeed mechanism or the cutting knives. Gloves must be loose fitting with narrow cuffs to reduce the chance of being snagged by a branch. Before you start the engine, make sure that all personnel are clear of the machine, the feed control bar is in neutral, and that the clutch is disengaged. Start up the engine following the instructions in the operator's manual for your particular machine. Allow the engine to idle for a minute or two to warm up. Follow the instructions in your operator's manual for engaging the chipping mechanism and increasing the engine speed to operating levels. Your brush chipper is equipped with an upper feed control bar and lower feed stop bar. Do not operate the chipper unless both control bars are installed and operating correctly. To check the lower feed stop bar, position the upper feed control bar for forward feeding and start the feed rollers. Bump the lower feed stop bar with your hand or leg to stop the in feed mechanism. To check the upper feed control bar, position the bar for forward feeding and start the feed rollers. Push the bar to the center stop position to reverse and back to forward. Pull the bar to the rear stop position. Make sure the feed control bar allows you to quickly stop the rollers. Do not continue unless both of these control bars are working properly. Once you are ready to begin feeding brush, place the feed control bar back into forward feed and start the feed rollers. Vermeer brush chippers are equipped with feed roller speed control. You can adjust the feed roller speed for slower or faster feeding depending on the type of material you are working with.